Hello everybody, this is Caitlin with the Twinsburg Library here for week two of Kindergarten Academy. So this week we're going to be focusing on location words like over, under, in front, behind, and all those awesome words, as well as problem solving. So let's put our thinking caps on and let's solve some problems today. So before we start talking about problem solving and location words, I think we have to say hello to each other, right? Let's do it. Ready? We do it hello in our very special library way. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's sing hello as fast as we can. Ready? Hello, 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 hello. Oh, you guys are good. Now, what's the opposite of fast? Slow. Let's do it. Ready? Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's sing hello as slow as we can. Awesome job. All right. Do you think we can do it really high? Let's use our high silly voices. Ready? Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as high as we can. Hello. Very good. Now, what's the opposite of high? Down low. Let's use our low silly voices. Ready? Bread and butter. Marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as low as we can. Hello. Awesome job. All right. Now you guys ready to sing your ABCs? Let's do it. Now, we're not going to sing it the normal way. We're going to sing it to the tune of London Bridges. So I'll point to the letters. You guys sing along. This way, when we sing it to different tunes, it makes sure that we sing all of the letters a little different so that like elemento doesn't turn into one giant letter. So let's try it to the tune of London Bridges. Ready? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. Very good. All right. We did our letters. Now let's work on the numbers. We're going to count all the way to... 20, because that's one of those skills we need for kindergarten. We gotta count all the way to 20. So let's start way down low at our smallest number one and get taller and taller as we count to 20. Let's do it. Ready? Way down low. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20! Awesome job, my friends. All right, are you guys ready for a story? If you're ready for a story, take a seat. If you're ready for a story, take a seat. If you're ready for a story, fold your hands all nice and neat. If you're ready for a story, take a seat. All right, we're going to start with a book all about location words. And this book is called In, Over, and On the Farm. So let's see what's going to go on with my animal friends on the farm. Ready? Let me in! Uh-oh. Let me in! You have to stay out. Oh. But it is my coat. I'm sorry, Hen. You cannot come. I cannot let you in. Why not? Uh-oh, why do you think he's not allowed in his own coop? Let's find out. We are already in. Uh-oh. Everybody out! Uh-oh, how do you think that chick is feeling? Is he grumpy? Well, I think so. And now... I am in. And we are out. Oh no, now they're all out in the rain. <gasps> all right, let's do some more words we did in and out. Now let's do over. Hmm, do you guys know the opposite of over? Under, very good. I wonder if we're gonna talk about under too. <gasps> Jump over. Uh-oh, can you do it? Mm. I cannot jump over. 
Then go under. What do you think? Do you think she'd fit under there? Mm, I can't go under either. What's wrong, Hen? Uh oh. I cannot go over or under. Come with me. Ooh, this is the time for problem solving. What do you think they're going to do? They can't go over. They can't go under. Maybe they can go around. We will go around. Very good. All right. Got a few more words. This one is I am on. What's he on? A tractor. Let's see. I am on. I am not on. Uh-oh. Now I am on. Look, now I am on too. Uh-oh. What do you guys think? Do you think there's too many people on the tractor? Let's see. Bump. Sabloosh. Uh-oh. Now what? Are they on? Nope. Now we are off. Can we go on again? There you go. The end. That was a silly story. I like that one a lot. Now, do you think we can use all those words on and off and in and under and over? And see if we can play a little game. All right. Let's see. I've got a good friend over here. This is Pete. I got Pete the cat who likes rocking on his, in his school shoes on the school bus. But you know what? He's going to do some pretty crazy things. We're going to have to see if we can guess if he is in the school bus, on the school bus, over the school bus, in front of the school bus, behind the school bus, or even under the school bus. Oh, no! Hopefully not under. We'll have to see. Let's see if you guys can find out where he is. Hmm. Let's see. Can you guys figure out where Pete is? Is he in front of the bus? Let's see. No, he's not in front of the bus. Maybe he's on top of the bus? Maybe he's taking a nap up there. No. Where do you guys think he's hiding? I hope he's not under the bus. Should we try? Nope. Not there. How about behind the bus? Should we try that one? Ah! There he is! We found him! Should we let him hide again? Let's see. All right. Let's see. Can we find Pete again? Let's see. Hmm. Maybe this time he's in the bus. Should we try? The inside of it? No, he's not in the bus. Uh-oh. Hmm. Is he behind the bus again? Let's see. No. How about under the bus? Let's see. No. Hmm. Is he in front of the bus? Goodness gracious, that Pete. Maybe. Do you think Pete learned to fly and he's over the bus? Let's see. He is! Look, he's flying over the bus. Oh my goodness, that is a silly Pete. I like it. Good job using those location words, friends. All right, are you guys ready for another story? All right, let's put our thinking caps on and do some problem solving. We're gonna do some problem solving at Gus's garage. Let's see what kind of problems we're gonna find in this book. Here comes Gus. The things he stores, whatever will he use them for? Uh, what kind of stuff does he have? Got all kinds of junk like this. There's, there's a bathtub and a fireplace, a little really old chair and drums. Hmm, let's see. Hey there, Rico, how's it going? Gus, this seat, I'm overflowing. Uh-oh, his seat's too small. Do you guys see anything over here that might help him? Hmm, you know what, that chair looks pretty comfy. Let's see what he does. Let's see, I have some bits and bobs. This goes with that and does the job. <gasps> Look at that. He fixed it and he even fixed all those holes and he's looking pretty snazzy. 
He helped his friend. And let's see if there's any other problems. Ready? Gina, how's the view up there? Chili Gus, I need warm air. Uh oh, do you guys see anything that would help with warm air? Hmm. Do you think a telephone would help? No. Let's see. But he does. <gasps> what did he use? He used the fireplace and he gave him a nice little house. Let's see, I have some bits and bobs. This goes with that. There, just the job. Perfect, that's a good problem solving. <gasps> All right. Hello, Walter, you look dry. Gosh, my skin, it's going to fry. Uh-oh, what do you guys think? What do you see that can help his friend, Walter? Mm, I see this, or you know what? There's a fish tank down here. Do you think that would help? No, I think we were right the first time, I think. Maybe the tub. There we go. Let's see, I have some bits and bobs. This goes with that. Just the job. And look, there's our little fresh friend. He came along too. Look at that, he got all kinds of fun things to help him drive while he's inside the tub. <laughs> Miss P. Hey, hot pink situation? Gus, I need refrigeration. Uh oh, what do you think? What do you think's gonna help our penguin friend? What's left over here? The fridge and freezer. Let's see how he fixes it. Let's see, I have some bits and bobs. This goes with that. That does the job. Perfect. Now she's even cold enough to eat her ice cream in her refrigerator freezer car. Hmm. All right. Hello, Henry. Here at last. Guess I'm going nowhere fast. Uh-oh. I wonder what he can use. What does he have? Is that a big tuba or a sousaphone? How is that going to help him? Hmm, let's see what he does. Whoa, let's see, I have some bits and bobs. This goes with that. J there, just the job. Oh my goodness, what did he do? He turned the tuba into a rocket. Wow, now he goes super fast. The day is done, what's left to do? Gus needs some water, soap, shampoo. Uh oh, why does he need all that stuff? Uh, he's pretty dirty. Uh oh, do you see any? Mm -mm. I wonder how he's going to take a shower. He joins the last few bits and bobs. This goes with that. Uh-oh. What do you think he's going to do? That doesn't look like a shower. Oh. There, just the job. Oh, my goodness. He did make a shower. What did he use to make the shower? There's the telephone and the garbage can. Look at that, and now he can drive home and stay clean. That is one smart pig. I like it. Now, do you guys think you can do some problem solving? Let's see. All right. Do you guys think you can help me solve some problems? Let's do it. All right. I've got my bike over here at the school, but you know what? I got to pick up my friends, and we're going to go to the circus. Let's see, do you think you can help me? I've got one friend over here at his house, and I've got another friend all the way down here at her apartment. Let's see, we're gonna start off with the school, and which way do we have to go? Do we go to the left, or go to the right to get to my friend over here? You're right, we gotta go to the right, so let's go over here. Now, now which way do we have to go? Ready? Up, very good. We're gonna go up to our friend, and there he goes. He gets to ride on our bike. It's a very big bike. You can fit multiple people. All right, now we gotta have to get all the way over here to my other friend. Do you guys see how we can do that? Hmm. Let's see. Do we go back this way to the left, or should we go to the right? To the right. You're right. All the way to the right. Uh oh, where do we go? Now which way do we have to go? Very good, we gotta go down, turn down the street. All right, do you know which way we have to go now? Over to the right, very good. And there we go, we picked up my friend. But uh oh, oh no, I think I need to fix my tire before we go to the circus. <gasps> Can you guys get me? down to the tire center? 
Mm, which way do we should we go? What's the fastest way? I think we gotta go to the right again. And now, should we go up or down? Down, of course. Let's go scoop down. Now, we have to go to the left. Turn to the left and fix our tire, fix our tire, fix our tire. Much better. Now, let's go to that circus. Let's see. We can go right or left to get to the circus. So let's go ahead and keep going to the left. Ready? Up or down? Up. Ready? Left or right? Right. Very good. And we're at the circus. Good problem solving, friends. All right. Are you guys ready to learn how to use all the things in your kit? Let's go ahead and do it. I'll meet you over there. All right, now let's see all the fun things you guys got in your kit. Now don't forget, if you didn't get a chance to sign up for the program, that's okay. Most of the things that we're gonna be doing, you can go ahead and find in the description below as far as all of, all of the printables go. And most of the other things you can do with things you have around your house. So let's go ahead and get started. So we're gonna open up. And the first thing we have in our activity book is the pirate position words. I love this one. So right here, we've got a book of X marks this spot. And when you open it up, you're going to have to go and get all the little things in your pocket. And you can have your parents help read it to you. It says, put the X below the island. So I found my X right here. And let's see, below the island. Is this below the island? No. This is below the island. And there you go. And you could go ahead and do the things on every page. You can go ahead and tuck those back in to keep everything nice and neat so you can do it again and again. All right, now let's see what the next one is. One of my favorites, car and cup position words. There you go. And again, if you didn't sign up for our um, printables, that's okay, because guess what? You can find a cup in your house and you can find any little thing. It doesn't have to be a car. It can be whatever little stuffed animal or a little plaything that you have or even a pom-pom. So what you're gonna do is you're going to flip over the cards we have here and see if you can follow what the cards say. So this one, says in front. So we're gonna put the car in front of the cup. Let's see, let's pick another random one. Ready? <gasps> this one has to go in. So we're gonna go ahead and put the, the car in the cup. And you can keep going and see if you can do all the different cards. Awesome, all right, on to the next one. The next one we're gonna do is color Zudoku. <gasps> I know that's a crazy word, but it's really, really fun. It's a good puzzle and problem solving game. All right, we are ready to play color Sudoku. So this is a really fun puzzle game where all you wanna do is make sure that we only have one of each color in each column and each row. It sounds really hard, but I believe you guys can do it. So there's multiple puzzles that you can do on here. And the main thing you have to remember is that each number corresponds to one color. So I'm gonna have red be the first color. So I see a one here and a one here. I see two, I'm gonna make blue because it rhymes, but I only see one, two. I see two threes, so I'm gonna make that yellow. And then I've got a four, and that's the only color I have left is black. So now we have to fill in the rest of the board. So let's see. Hmm, this one, this column already has two colors. So I have got red and yellow, but now I need to put black and blue in here. So let's go ahead and see, can I put my blue here? Nope, because there's already a blue right in this row. So it has to go here. And let's see, what color is left out of this row? You're right, it's the black one. And now there's only one empty space. So we already have red, blue, and black. What the other color is there left? There we go, yellow, very good. 
All right, and now we've got all of our yellows in these three columns, but not in this one. So let's see, can we put our yellow here? Nope, there's already a yellow. We definitely can't put it here because there's a yellow right there Oops, that you can't see in my arm. And so we have to put it right there. We already did all of our yellows. Let's do one more color to see. Mm, see, we can try our blue one. All right, let's see. This row needs a blue, or this color needs a blue. Can we put it here? Nope, there's already a blue here, so we're going to put it all the way up here. And this row only needs one more color. Which color is missing? We've got red, yellow, blue, black. Very good. All right. Oh. It gets easier and easier because now we have black, red, yellow. What color's missing? Blue. All right, I'm not going to give the whole puzzle away. I want to see if you guys can figure out the rest. All right, let's see what else we have in our awesome kit. All right. The next one is a fun board game. These board games are great for problem solving. And this one's all about the weather. So I'm gonna go ahead and pretend I've got a friend here to play with me. And I will play with myself. So go, all right. I'm going to be black and blue. So we're gonna put our draw pile, make sure they're all mixed up. And we're going to go ahead and put it here. And it's a really simple game. All we have to do is turn over a card. And the black is going to go first. And I have to move to the cloudy spot. So let's see. And a really good thing you can do is count the squares till you find your cloudy spot. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. <gasps> uh oh, that one got really far. Let's see how far the blue one's going to go. Ready? Turn over. We have to go to the rainbow. Do you guys see the rainbow? I do. All right, let's count for the blue. One, two, three, four, five. Very good. All right. Now the next one for the black's turn is a lightning bolt. This is a special card because it means we're going to move all the way up to the next lightning bolt. The closest one and then there's a special arrow that means we got to go back here now if you are all the way up here and you pull a lightning card that means you've got to go back to the lightning you go to whichever one's closest so if you're in between the two you've got to count the squares and go to whichever one's close all right and then you keep going till you get to the end and in order to win you have to draw a sun see who and you're, who's gonna win, whether it's gonna be you or your parents or your brothers or sisters. See if you guys can go ahead and play. All right, now the next thing for problem solving, we've got two more problem solving things. One's easier and one's harder. We'll start off with the easy one. So All right, for the next one, we're gonna solve a bunch of puzzles to fill in this farm scene. So we're gonna solve the puzzles to see which animal goes where. So I'll do the first puzzle with you. So when the puzzle is solved, place the farm animal beside the farmer. All right, the animal is below the orange triangle and above the red square. So let's see, we want something that's below the orange triangle. Well, I see two orange triangles, so there's two animals. Hmm, which one is above the red square? You're right, it's the dog. So that's the first puzzle. We're gonna put the first animal next to the farmer. Easy peasy. And you guys can go ahead and see if you can solve the rest of the puzzles on your own. All right, and if you're up for a little bit more of a challenge, let me show you the harder one. So this is Guess the Mystery Dog. All right, so this one has a bunch of puppy dogs and a bunch of different clues. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the number one and we'll have to guess what the dog is. So here's our clues. The dog does not have a collar. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna cover up all the ones that do have a collar. 
and collar. All the ones that have a collar. All right, so well, the mystery dog has to be one of these. Let's see, the dog's tail is showing. Hmm, so we have to get rid of all the ones that don't show a tail. So we'll get rid of this one, and we'll get rid of this one. All right, the dog has short ears. Hmm, uh-oh, this one's got long ears. All right, and the last clue is the dog is gray. So we get rid of these two. And the mystery dog is the H dog, a beautiful husky. There you go. And if you guys want, there's a whole bunch of other clues that each dog is the answer to. Good job problem solving. All right. And the last thing we have is our special skill that we need to know before going to kindergarten. We need to know our phone number. So the first thing we're going to do is you've got your printout that you can help your parents if you don't already know your phone number. Think you're going to go ahead and write your phone number in these squares. So I'm going to go ahead and write the library's phone number at three three zero four two five four two six eight see if your parents can help you write it if you want you can have them write it first and then you can go over top of it with a marker and you can even try dialing it on this phone but we gave you an even better way to do it so let's go ahead and go over to the ground and we're gonna grab our paper plates with us all right now we've set up all of our plates in the way that a phone is set up as you can see we've got one two three four five six seven eight nine zero star and the pound sign also a hashtag so what you're gonna do is go ahead and dial your phone number on the giant plate like it's a giant button you can also have these taped on your wall so let's see i'm gonna dial the library so i'm gonna say three three zero four two five four two six eight and another fun way to do it is with your feet see if you can get up and use those gross motor skills and see if you can dial it with your toes see if you can hop on one foot i'm gonna say three three uh oh you're gonna hop all the way down to zero and you go ahead and see if you can do your whole phone number all right that's what we have for today and we'll see you guys next week for our next skills of rhyming talking about qualities and grouping and sorting so see you guys then bye